Welcome to Morning Manor's Week in Review with Pastor Steve Mary. A summary of this week's Morning Manor. A pure heart. Jesus declared unto the people that day that if someone was capable of having, keeping, or obtaining a pure heart, that they would see God. It is the desire of every believer that one day they would see God. However, the enemy of our soul has a desire too. He desires to keep us from seeing God, both in this world and the next. His attempt is to cause us to lose our pure hearts. The pure heart sees what God is doing and ignore the errors of another's life that is not perfect. Now, does this mean that we ignore an individual sin? No, there are times when we have to correct each other if we see one is going down the wrong path. But the scripture reminds us that if a brother be overtaken with a fault, you that are spiritual should restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. God is calling us to not condemn, but to have a pure heart. The thought of the day, no matter how much good I do, if my heart is not pure, I will not see God. Whose mind is stayed on thee. All of us have struggled with some decisions we have made before God. It's really tough to stick to a decision. Commitment is a hard thing. It has been that way since the beginning of time. Anyone who has been on a diet or fast knows how tough it is. Yet inside each of us, there's a stubborn streak where nobody in the world could get us to change our minds about certain things. Wouldn't it be a good thing if we got stubborn about God in a positive way? I submit to you today that there is power in the made-up mind. If your mind is stayed on Him, God will take care of everything else, your family, your possessions, and your future. I encourage you today, keep your mind on the Lord. The thought of the day, if you're fully committed to God, God will be fully committed to you. Learning to listen to God. They say listening is the biggest part of communication. I believe this saying is true. After all, how can we effectively connect with others if we don't comprehend what is being said? How about connecting with the Lord? Think about it. We talk a lot when it comes to our prayer, and we should pray because prayer is very biblical. But what is prayer anyway? Is not prayer communication with the Lord? If this is true, then we should learn how to effectively listen to Him, not just talk. I pray today that spiritual deafness would not plague any of God's people in these very troubled times. I pray the Lord teaches all of us how to listen to Him and that we might find fellowship and direction that we desire in our lives. My encouragement, child of God, do not just speak to God, but learn to listen. The thought of the day, communication is a two-way street. I am persuaded. Uncertainty is one of the most challenging of human problems to have contend with. It is a place of being somewhere in the middle. You have traveled too far from the start, but not far enough to get to the destination. It is that deadly middle of uncertainty. I want to tell somebody today, trust God. Have confidence in Him. Have confidence in His ability to provide. Have confidence in His ability to heal. Philippians 4 reminds us, But my God shall supply all your need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Paul said that he's persuaded that God is able. When you talk about persuasion, you're talking about somebody who has had an experience with God. And our experience with God yesterday should tell us what he's able to do tomorrow. Let us not fear, but have confidence in God. Let us be persuaded. The thought of the day, no matter how dark it might get, victory still belongs to Jesus. When God hides from me, children have a most unique way of entertaining themselves. In spite of all the toys and technology available to them, they still find pleasure in simple games. Well, Maybe when I was growing up more than even now. Back then, we used to play cricket, dandy shandy, and after watching action movies, we would play what we call gunwar. But perhaps no other game is as well known to the children of every generation as the game we call hide and seek. But when God tries to play hide and seek, however, it seems to lose the fun. The reason is simple. God is a good hider. Job was able to win in the end because irrespective 
irrespective of the fact that he could not find God, he trusted God through all that was happening. Child of God, you may be praying, you may be fasting, you may be being so faithful in your ministry, but yet you don't see God showing up. Don't worry about not being able to find him. Take comfort in the fact of knowing that God knows where you are. The thought of the day, take comfort in the fact of knowing that no matter how far you are, God can find you. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube, your support is much appreciated. We make a miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness.